everyone. This video was basically going to be me having an old lady moment and fawning over Tupperware. <laughs> I love anything vintage, anything old, anything, basically anything that my grandma owns, I want it. Like there are times where my grandma will get new stuff and I'll be like, can I please have the old thing? Like, I get so excited. Like, can I just have your hand-me-downs, Nana? I just want everything you had from the 70s and 80s, please. Summer is just like a never-ending parade of yard sales, and it's great because you find so much cool shit, especially if you find, like, a really awesome old lady yard sale. You are going to find the best stuff because they don't understand the value of their Tupperware. They really don't. So, that's what this is. <laughs> what this is today I'm doing a yard sale haul don't judge me all right don't judge me this is my redneck heaven please let me find more yard sales like this before the summer is over because I found all the vintage Tupperware okay I'm gonna show you and my favorite one I'm gonna save it for the very end because it's so exciting you'll see so, first things first, where, where do I even start? I'm gonna start with what's not Tupperware. Just go ahead and get that out of the way. You hear me like banging around my Tupperware on the table. First things first, strainers. I got a little pot colander, a little plastic pot colander. It just kind of like sits on something, you know, it's got these little hooky things. And then I found this thing. I fucking love these. It's just a little strainer, that's it. I got really excited when I found these kind of boring but really exciting if you don't have them you know how awful it is to not have them so I got that yay and then I got this I've just been using a bowl I've just been keeping a bowl by my stove and sitting my cooking spoons on it and I saw this and I'm like oh 50 cents yes I need one of those thank you it's just, just sit a spoon in it when you're cooking to keep your spoon from getting gross and keep your counter from getting dirty Voila. Now, I got a butt pan. I do not own a butt pan. I have like 15 muffin pans and some cupcake pans and so many glass pie pans that never get used because I don't ever make pies. But a butt pan. A butt pan I will actually use more than I use anything else because I love pumpkin bread. Pumpkin bread, I'm ready for fall. I'm ready for them to start stocking pumpkin on the shelf again because I'm ready to make so much pumpkin bread. Ugh. My first and albeit least exciting Tupperware piece is this one. I was excited about it, but I mean, I think it was actually the first piece of Tupperware that I found. And ugh, it just opens, just a little white box. No big deal, but it'll come in handy. It's like the perfect size, you know? It's like the perfect leftover size. It's great, it's awesome. I'm excited about it. It's in really good condition. And then I found these. I hate orange. <laughs> I hate orange, or at least I thought I hated orange. And then I found these and I was like, why do I hate orange again? What? In what land are these not just the most beautiful orange containers I have ever seen in my entire life? And I had to get them. I'm like, I'm gonna put spaghetti in those. It's just gonna be great. That I, that's just the end of it. I just, I need these orange containers. I don't know, I, I just, I, I need them in my life. And then, and then, I kept digging through boxes. And I found this guy. And I was like, I see my future. And in my future, there are so many orange Tupperware things. And, and then I found another one. And my life's, my future kitchen was realized. I just, I don't know what has gotten into me. I like, I, I hate the color orange. But I saw these and I was like, I need it. I need it now. I just, I, I think that it's because I'm so excited for fall and for Halloween this year that I just, and I literally cried when I found this. 
my grandma was with me and my grandma was like the Tupperware lady back in the day she still has a shed full of Tupperware that she won't give me but she still has it and I'm, I'm holding out she's gonna leave it to me in her will or or me and her ghosts are gonna have some problems but like if she wants me to take care of her grave after she dies she better give me all her Tupperware I'm just kidding. I love you, Nana. I'm going to take care of you anyway. But my Nana has had the same tea pitcher ever since I, like ever since before I was born. She's had the same tea pitcher since the 70s. But hers is red. And I found an orange one and I was, I, I literally cried. I was like, I'm going to be able to make sweet tea like Nana. Like I am just. Because, like, I have been convinced. Like, I can, I, I can make sweet tea like Nana. I go to Nana's house and I use her tea pictures, and no one can tell the difference between her sweet tea and mine. But when I'm at my house, I can never, ever make sweet tea like she does. And I'm convinced that it's the tea pitcher. And so now I have an old-ass Tupperware tea pitcher, and I can make sweet tea like Nana. And I'm just... I just... I love it. I really do. I really do love it. And I thought that this was gonna be my favorite purchase, but it's not. Because then, just when I was about to give up and pay for all my goods and go home, I found this big daddy. I found him. I don't even know what this is called. Let's see if I can balance it on. <laughs> Maybe not. It spins, like, it's like a lazy Susan. To where it spins yeah it's spinning you can see and it has these cool containers that just come out and they have lids and it's just i saw this and i just about shit my pants like i got so excited the baby kicked it was great and i don't even know the name for it it has a space for tea and for coffee and for flour and then up top it has this big daddy that just like comes off and I'm assuming you put flour or sugar in this but that's a lot of sugar I mean I mean that is a lot of sugar that's that's a lot of sugar like if I wanted to I could even just use this bottom part and like put like a fruit bowl or something on top of it I don't know what it's called all I know is I'm excited to put this in my kitchen I literally think I'm just so excited for Halloween because I mean, as a little bonus something, I found this. And I'm just, I'm excited for Halloween. I think that that's all this is. I think that that's why I'm suddenly in love with orange because this, it's Tupperware for one. And it's, it's still 112 degrees in Texas. but I'm ready for fall and I'm thinking that I'm just gonna like September's gonna hit and I'm gonna be like all right let's go it's Halloween time and I think that just this orange Tupperware is just filling up a Halloween old lady vintage void inside of me and I'm ready for it and let's see for all of this total I pay $13 so I mean you can't beat a Texas shirt it's just the best it's the best yeah, I had to like sweat my booty off and I got all like swollen and everything because I had to pee really bad the whole time and I'm pregnant and that's kind of awful, but I don't care. I'm down for a good Texas yard sale. So yeah, um, I think that I'm just gonna leave it there and um, hope you guys enjoyed this um, vintage Tupperware yard sale haul. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Um, thank you for watching. And subscribe!